Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to upload and download entire contents of an S3 bucket using AWS PLI. So, as the name suggests, the prerequisite includes that you have AWS PLI installed and configured. So, let's go quickly through its configuration. You simply need to type AWS configure and enter your access key, secret access key, region and default output format. Once that's done, we'll go on with the uploading process. So first of all, to make it clear where we need this, we'll need it when we have hundreds or thousands of folders that we need to upload or download from a bucket because doing them manually, it will take quite a lot of time. So here we're going to upload this folder, the contents of this folder, AWS upload, it involves a file and a subfolder which again has a file. So first of all, let's see where we are we are in the right folder and we have this folder aws upload so to upload it we'll type aws s3 the name of the folder that's aws upload followed by the bucket name and and just a minute so this is an empty bucket and this is the name of the bucket so and I made some mistake. Yes, I missed the command of it. It's AWS S3 string, AWS up the name of the folder, and followed by the name of the bucket. It will simply synchronize the folder and the bucket and upload the content. So it's done. Now let's refresh the bucket and see what we have. And we have the file, the subfolder, and the subfolder again has the file. Now, let's go back to downloading so now we have a folder AWS download and this folder is empty okay so we'll up download the contents of the bucket to this folder again it's very simple type AWS as this thing now we need to synchronize the folder with the bucket that is we get contents from from the bucket to this folder so simple dot or if you are somewhere else type right the part to the folder and enter and here it is it's done so let's see we have a folder a file go to the folder we again have a file so that's how it's done and make sure that you know that you have been charged for all of this because AWS charges you for the request that you make thank you